Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know, bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>
right across from Get Bored Ski Shop, Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Wonderful, wonderful little shop. The owner, I can't stress it enough, just such such an amazing friend of mine. He was the first person up here who really made me feel super comfortable up here. And uh, and when I used to partake in the smoke and vape thing, um, I used to have to drive down, down the mountain because I would never actually go in to these shops up here because I thought it would be too expensive. And uh, he's the only one up here who seems like he takes really, really, really good care of the people, saves you a trip down the hill. Everybody I knows, everybody I knows, everybody I know goes in there because it's not overpriced, it's fair priced, and it, it, it's it's not only smoke and vape stuff, guys. It's small little trinkets also, especially his shop in Big Bear City. There are two shops. They're both in the description of the video. Owner's name is Sahil. And again, if you mentioned that I sent you, he will take care of you. And please understand, guys, I'm not paid for any of this stuff. I'm doing this because I like these people, and they're really good for the town. They make you guys feel good. They treat you guys well, and uh, that's important to me because, once again, without you guys, I don't get to live here. I can never stress that enough. So Big Bear Smoke and Vape, they have two shops. Go in there, support a small town, small business, and uh, we would really appreciate that. And again, I am not paid, <laughs> not at all. All right, to the video. To the video, my friends. Yeah, we are getting big, beautiful snowflakes. These are the type of snowflakes that I absolutely love. Just looks like cotton balls falling from the sky. It's really lovely. We are heading over towards the snowiest part of town first, just to see what's going on, see if we see any accumulation starting to build up on the ground on the way out here. Again, it is above freezing, so it's going to take a little bit of a decent snowfall coming down for accumulation to take effect above freezing, but we shall see. Shall see. And all you skiers and snowboarders, come on up here. I'm confident it's going to remain snow throughout the rest of the storm. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm confident about it. And I want you guys to come up and enjoy the fresh snow. It's a lot more fun to ski with some fresh snow, I'll tell you what. defrost a lot. Look, see, we're starting to get accumulation on the road over here. As you can see, it's starting. Again, that's a good sign. Even though it's above freezing, it means it's coming down pretty good. I'm exhausted, but I'm excited to do this. I want you guys to always be in the know about our weather here. Here is Boulder Bay State Park, or Boulder Bay Park. It's just a lovely little spot, you guys. And the water on this side of the bay in Boulder Bay seems to be iced over. Remember, guys, do not attempt to go into the lake or, or walk onto the ice. Do not attempt it at all. It is extremely dangerous. The ice will not hold you. And people lose their lives doing that up here. It's not worth it, even for a photo op or anything like that. Please, guys, please. I, I love you guys too much. You come up.
come up here to have fun, be on vacation. I don't want anything bad to happen to y'all. By the way, guys, don't forget, if you're looking to stay at an Airbnb up here and you want to stay in a good location next to Bear Mountain on one of our most popular streets called Sheephorn, they get lots of snow over there. It's one of the snowiest parts of the whole area. Let me know. I need to post that, that link in the description for the sheep horn getaway. The owner of the place, super cool. He's a friend of the channel. He's the one who does all my all my promos for me. And he's just a really, really nice guy. He's done those few giveaways of the Airbnb. Like it's, he's, he's a good dude, you guys. And he deserves all the support in the world, especially because it's a great spot. It really is. I think you guys would be stoked. And to top it off, there's a hot tub right outside the master bedroom. Oh yeah. A real hot tub, guys. Not like how a lot of our hotels have a big bathtub in, in the room. I'm talking about like a jacuzzi hot tub outside. And also beware of these potholes, y'all. They're getting pretty darn bad, especially over here. looking at, at at this person's driveway like <laughs> it's got it's gonna take a lot of plowing to get up there but yeah we're entering the snowiest part of town right now guys snowiest part of the valley itself of the valley floor I gotta get some of this snow off the windshield wipers hopefully it goes I don't know if you guys can see the top of the windshield wipers but there's a big chunk of snow on there Temperature still maintaining at 34 degrees. For those of you who don't know, the elevation we're at right now is probably about 6,800 feet. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Watching all that snow fall from the sky. I sure love doing this for you guys. All right, we're at the Big Bear Dam. We're gonna hang a right on Highway 38, also known as North Shore, and we are gonna head over to Fonskin. Nice signal, buddy. <laughs> oh, there you go. Thanks, man. Bear crossing. for the weary right so because I am a little bit tired and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me yap I'm gonna try to just uh, cruise along a little bit and we'll just enjoy the snowy drive <coughs> 
I will be pointing out the outpost, which is a, a little resort up here in the Fawn Skin area. I've always checked it out, but I haven't stayed there yet. And I had a reason to look a lot deeper into it, and it seems like a darn good place the outpost and the only way you can rent a room there is going to the outpost's website I, I think it's like outpostbigbear.com but if you type in the outpost big bear on google <coughs> you'll get all the information you need right there temperature drop a little bit I think it's supposed to get a little warmer throughout the day up to about 36 but it's not supposed to change back from snow to rain but it is big bear you guys you guys know that's a, a, a big possibility that it can do that but I'm hopeful that it won't and as I said I'll be quiet up oh, hey look what just happened 33 real quick we're driving right along the lake here Big fat snowflakes, you guys. Starting to get accumulation over here, guys. Beautiful to see that. Ground's turning white over here in the fawn skin area. Temperature did drop down to 32, or 33, as I said. So we're getting a little bit closer to what we're looking for. Coming up to the outpost, you guys. As you enter Fawnskin, here it is. It's this place right here on the right hand side. Guys, they have a few cute cabins right there, right on Grout Creek. Oh man, like, we're gonna be staying there in the next couple weeks for sure, you guys. And right here is Grout Creek. That's 
it's like my one of my very favorite areas up here and to have a room that's right on right on the creek as it's flowing is oh man it looks gorgeous too guys it looks really nice really kept up again you can't go to Expedia you can't do anything like that you have to go to their their website to book their room and I think that's a big reason why I, I haven't stayed there because I'm always looking for rooms up here on Expedia just so I can earn my points and stuff like that and uh, that's why I've just never <clears throat> really come across it much so it's a nice hidden gem up here you guys I'm telling you what I did a lot of research on it and the place is spectacular I can't wait to do the video for you guys <clears throat> and one of the the owners <clears throat> Jolene is a professional, uh, um, I think not only stuntman, but um, a professional motocross. There's a specific event where she's she's like won it and just dominates. And the other owner, Alyssa, and her husband own it also. There's three owners. Alyssa is like a senior writer for ESPN also. So I mean, these are like like super hardworking people super successful people um, and what I mean by success is it, it's just what they've accomplished um, I couldn't imagine being being a stuntman or or even someone being a writer for for ESPN like that's just crazy cool crazy crazy cool That song, Every Breath You Take, I'm playing it in my head and driving through this snow. It just seems like it'd be such a great song. Playing during the snow. <laughs> I don't know why. It'll be snowing on you. other side of town, the part of town that gets less snow, so from Big Bear City out to Baldwin, we'll be doing that drive next, probably in a few hours. I probably do 7 out of 10 videos on the Big Bear Lake side of town. biggest reason for that you guys is because that's where 90% of you are are going to be staying while you're up here so I want to make sure that you get to see the area that you're most likely going to be residing while you're here and get up here and have fun get your buns up here guys Foster 
are going a little bit more. Up, ah, 34 degrees again. Oh boy. Don't warm up anymore, please. Someone crashed into those signs right there. So we get a lot of people who go into that ditch right there, guys. No joke. And right now it's snowing so good on the other side of the lake where we're about to go that you can't even see Snow Summit. Again, that's another good sign. That's that's how I judge from over here, how, how good it's actually snowing out here. This side of the lake typically doesn't get as heavy as much of snow. But when I'm looking across the lake, like right here, and don't see the mountain, that's a great sign. Usually, as you guys know, we get a pretty spectaculoso view from there. From here, up there. Spectacular, spectaculoso. Snowflakes are not as big and fat, but it's still all snow. On the live feed, a lot of people keep saying it looks like it's raining. And I'm like, no, it's not raining, it's snowing. But yeah, after this video, hop over to the live feed. Come hang out. Let's chat. Let's talk. Let's have a good chat. Let's say what's up. I miss you guys, man. All right, we're at Stanfield Cutoff. This is our elementary school, by the way. It's a big round building, kind of a funny looking building as far as I'm concerned. But whatever educates our kids, I don't care if it's the funniest looking building ever. It's really odd because right now, it smells like an airport. Like when you're out on the tarmac, just all that gas. I know it's gonna sound dumb, but I really like that smell. Oh guys, Mr. Big Bear Weather's a gas huffer. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just like that smell. I, I, I don't know why I can't explain it. Actually, I think I can explain it. Because as, as a little kid, when my parents took us kids to Europe, the, the gasoline smell or, or the exhaust smell was, was, was so much over there, but that's like one of my biggest memories is how strong the gas smelled over there from all the vehicles driving around and it just always reminded me of vacation as weird as that sounds I'll tell you what aromatherapy is is a pretty amazing way to uh, time travel and transport yourself Aromatherapy and music, just incredible time traveling mechanisms for sure. So, anyway, guys, we're back. We're back in the saddle again. We're back, 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 back. Thanks for hanging with us or me today. As I said, hop over to the live feed, say what's up to Rachel. Um, please like and subscribe, help us out, help this channel grow a bit. As you guys know, most, most of you here have been watching for a very long time. You know how hard I work, how much effort I put into this. I'd really appreciate it. I'm not asking uh, 
for a subscribe if you don't feel that I've earned it. So thank you guys. I appreciate that very much. And in the meantime, just have a great, great day today. If you have a chance to call in sick and be a little irresponsible to call in sick, then come up here. Enjoy yourself. I'm not trying to condone bad behavior, but our season is getting to that ending point, you guys. It's just... I think our ski resorts will, will be open for maybe another month and two weeks at best. So you, need, you guys need to get up here. And other than that, as I said, have a great rest of your day. And we will be seeing you guys very shortly. Thanks again for everything. I love you with all my heart. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.